Well, this will be a cool scene to start out a Call of the Wild video with. We got a lion running in here with a couple of springbuck. And at least as far as the springbuck go, that's one of the things that I wanted to focus on today. I wanted to kind of do a springbuck and warthog hunt because those are some of the animals that I really want to get in the trophy lodge and just get more of because I think they look good on the small plaques. And with Shurak Axis Deer being revealed recently, I think we're going to be hunting them a lot and I at least expect to get a good number of them in the trophy lodge. So I wanted to come out here to Verhunga and maybe get some good variety uh, before we actually start doing all the Axis Deer stuff. So. I'm not really sure we're going to have a great chance to make a good shot here, unless maybe it slows down again, but I wanted to get that level 3 back there, just since he's kind of running through. There is a random jackal, but that's also a 3. So let's just try this, I guess. Oh, wow. We actually got that. All right. Not bad. I didn't even think we hit it. Ooh, we were really close to not hitting it. We were just kind of under the heart there and got enough to get through both lungs, but... I didn't actually intend on hunting Springbuck now, that was going to be kind of the second half of the video because Warthog do drink early in the morning, and I wanted to go over to this lake kind of like at the starting area, but I never do it from this side, I just wanted to see if we'd run into anything interesting doing that, and we certainly got to see a, a cool thing with the lion chasing the herd of Springbuck there. I knew that some things changed on Verhunga, like with zones and stuff, because a lot of the maps did, but apparently there's just no Warthog drinking over here anymore, at least not on my map, so... I guess since we came here, we're going to go ahead and take this level 4 Gemsbuck. Just because eventually a Diamond Male Gemsbuck would be nice, and kind of slowly working on respawns towards that, I guess. That one, okay, I thought he might have been bigger, but that's actually a 3, so we definitely got the best one. And it was actually even a gold as well, by a fairly decent amount, so that's not too bad. But I did want to actually go down to this lake, because I know there's going to be a lot of Warthog there. And there might be some Springbuck and Kudu kind of feeding in that area, but also I wanted to switch to the Mosin because I hadn't gotten to do that before the lion came running through there, so just so we'll have it. I think, unfortunately, that guy's by himself, so we'll just try to go ahead and get him there, and then hopefully there's others in this area. Because a lot of times, like, when I run over through this side, a couple of them will spook and go around the edge, so maybe we can get a bonus on our way over to get him. Oh yeah, there's a three right up there, which is kind of lost, it looks like. If we can time it right, I don't think we even hit that. But maybe he'll slow down again? I don't know that he can get out of there, actually. That one, though, should solve that. And there's actually a kudu over there as well, so since we're just kind of taking out things for respawns, and since he's turning broadside, we'll just take him too, and that'll be one more thing we can kind of look for hopefully in the future to respawn but this lake's definitely been good i mean there's been some good stuff that we can take out pretty easily but it was not as good as the thing that kind of inspired this video so i want to claim this guy super quickly and that was actually a gold three so kind of good we missed that first shot but i wanted to quickly show the little multiplayer kill i had at this lake a couple of days ago and like i said it was kind of what inspired this there was a level five warthog just chilling out here at this lake and it wasn't necessarily what i was after but one of the things that I was definitely hoping to see, I mean, kind of the same deal as today, Springbuck, Kudu, and Warthog just trying to get something uh, for the small plaques in the trophy lodge, and this guy was small tusks, and we actually don't have a small tusk diamond in the lodge, but of course that doesn't mean he's a guaranteed diamond, but we made that shot there, and fortunately we get over there, and he is in fact a diamond. I think it was by 0.1, if I'm not mistaken, so small diamond at that 139 kilo area, but a diamond nonetheless, and it was definitely cool, and I thought that would be a different way of kind of throwing a multiplayer kill into a single player video so yeah um i'm hoping we can replicate something like that either today or with the response we get from today but we'll see kind of what happens i'm just kind of glad that we have something good for the lodge in those small plaques again and variety with the the small uh test on him but we're here for our level three kudu of course that's just a little silver which we almost shot too high on but got the lung and actually, I think the uh, level 5 Warthog we shot there in multiplayer was the same zone as this level 4 here, so maybe that means we can get lucky with his respawn, but I think we'll head off to another lake now. I'm not actually sure where we're going to go, maybe down to this little spot, because it tends to have a lot of Warthog. And the thing is, I think a lot of the times I just sort of ignore them and go after Gimsbuck or whatever. So these aren't ones that I really hunt very much, so they're really never respawning as anything else, so I think that'll be good to actually take some of them out. And I'd like to try to get two, and I want to get the four there. That angle is not good, but maybe when he lifts his head, we can kind of get that in there. 
I mean, he dropped. I'm really not sure where we hit him, and then it looks like we got that guy pretty good as well. So, just in case, we're gonna just walk down the hill kind of slowly. I don't know why my scope keeps coming back up when I'm crouching up, but yeah, we'll take our time to get down here, just in case they maybe stop and start to come back. We might as well take a third one. Like I said, I don't really ever go after these particular warthogs. So there's actually a three still here, and they are coming back, so really we should only shoot uh, the three of them. So we might just be kind of happy with that, unless we can get, like, really far away and not delete the zone, because I don't want to do that. I don't know where they might move to, and I don't really want to risk moving a spot where there's actually a pretty good zone with a lot of warthogs, so we'll stop and see, but if they maybe, like, stop up on this hill kind of where that one's standing, and honestly, if that's a male, we might take him. I think that would work, so he is a level 3. Let's just see what happens. Complete guess on the range and everything, I didn't even pay attention. It looks like we got intestines or something, so that'll bring him down and we'll get four without deleting zones. And I think after we claim all these four, we might go ahead and go back to uh, Springbuck time, just because we've actually done a good bit of Wardog hunting, but... Oh, we actually did not get neck or anything that would have been good enough to uh, keep gold on him, so... Kind of unfortunate, but the respawn's going to be the more important thing. And then one we shot over in this area like at 300 meters. And then there was the one on the hill. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to turn off tracks because I thought that might make it easier to uh, find them without all the tracks glowing, but that'll work. And that was actually even a gold. He sort of ducked down into it or we might have been too low. That was really lucky. So apparently there were even more. We're going to grab him super quick because Warthog run pretty slowly. But it shouldn't be a big deal to take him out. He's not really running back towards these zones. So, I mean, that angle's good, but he turned back straight away. I mean, at the very least, I think we'll get a shot, like, out through here somewhere. So we'll kind of wait on him. So there's two of them. I mean, I don't think we're going to get them both. I think they're going to take off immediately. I mean, he kind of delayed, but... Not really enough. Let's just see. At this point, I'm mostly trying to get the respawns, but I don't think we hit him. So we'll probably just be happy with the one. So we got five then at this zone. Two of the last lake and a random spring buck, plus the one diamond for multiplayer. So not too bad for a quick warthog hunt, but let's switch it up to spring buck and see what we can get. I might need to start doing that more often, so... A spring buck just called, it's actually not in its zone yet, I don't think. And I turned around because I decided I was going to go up on top of this rock and see if I could maybe see down to where it was. And there were warthog running out of there, so they flee really slowly, and I know they do rest like in these trees. So I wonder if I always spook them and I just don't see them because I don't turn around. I want to get up on that rock and see if I can see the spring buck, but that was actually a nice little bonus level 4. And I wonder where they drink then. Because... We did visit this little lake, we're back here like in the starting area, and I mean, these Wardog have to drink somewhere. I mean, that's gotta be him there, because he's walking down there nervous. I think if we can just get him now, that might get us one more Springbuck though. Because potentially, any others that are down there, uh, you know, won't get spooked by that, and we can just get them without any kind of difficult shot. And because we shot two level fours, we should have two golds here, the Wardog obviously. Kind of small for at 115 kilos, but again, gonna be good for respawns. And I guess this has to be a pretty small level for a spring buck as well to be uh, not the max weight estimate, but nice little 97 gold. Good way to start out the spring buck part of this. And there's one more down here anyway. Kind of surprised he's getting that spook because the wind's not bad, but I guess he knows we're here, so we'll just take care of that. And I mean, this spot used to get like an entire herd, but I don't really see that very much anymore, so I think we got probably the only two that drink here, or at least maybe the only two that are uh, anywhere close. There might be some that have to travel from further. And to be honest, I thought that was going to be a female when I saw like the really skinny horns, so I'm just glad that one was a male. Obviously just a silver, but let's try up here in the northeast, because it's one of the better spring buck uh, spots that I've been to lately. Maybe we can actually even get some use out of this tripod here, because we set it up here for Jackal, just kind of when we were setting up for, for Hunga Map in general. And I actually haven't come back to even use it once, so... Maybe we can get one or both of those level 3s, and I don't think I had spotted that one that just kind of hopped into the picture there. 
I have no idea what that was, but I guess that's going to be one that we're trying to spot as it's leaving, just because I don't see a way of really managing that as is. So if we can get that shot in there, I'm a little bit worried about that brush. Yeah. We're just shooting into brush there, so kind of unfortunate. Probably should have tried to shoot the other one first. I bet that's the one that trotted into the frame, so... Try to at least get something into him. And none of these look all that special, so we'll even try to hit him again just to bring him down a little more quickly. We might have got lungs there. The second shot was really good. They're stopping, so we'll reload and try to get one more mail. Because if it wasn't for that brush, we definitely should have gotten probably two there. Those two are females. That's a three. That'll work. So let's see what actually happened here, because... I know we got this one good. Completely by accident, admittedly, I did not try to shoot for the neck. I just thought it was a little further away. And even still, I think we would have been a bit far forward, so... Already lucky to begin with. And then, this one is the one that I'm really wondering. Flesh, and then just kind of into the intestine. So I guess it was more a fact of, like, hitting it twice that brought it down so fast. And I guess that spinal cord actually might have been part of it, too. But... Yeah. Again, good for the response. That's what I'm mostly worried about at the moment, because a couple more Diamond Springbuck and Warthog would be nice, but let's maybe try this little spot. I think I have checked here for Springbuck, but not for a while. And there is at least a decent four down there, so maybe we can kind of make up for the one that we just lost to not-so-good shooting. So that'll work, and I think I might have seen maybe an extra one come out of there. Maybe it was the same one. Now, there's definitely more, so kind of missed out. I saw max weight four in there somewhere. Probably should have walked forward a little more, but didn't realize there were that many in this area. So we'll try to wait, maybe see if they stop and give us a good shot. And I want to see what that max weight four was, because I kind of just spotted him. I never actually really got eyes on him. I mean, that's got to be the one there, and he's definitely not too bad, but not even max score estimate, so certainly not huge. Of course, he's going to be the one that wants to run the farthest, but the rest of them went nervous, and he actually just did as well, so he should stop. We'll see if we can kind of get a shot in there. Not sure if we hit him very well. I don't think we did, unfortunately. We can try to make up for that, but that's a long way to try to lead a fleeing animal. I mean, again, he's going to go down, but that wasn't the best. And I guess we make up for one loss four and then kind of lose another one immediately. But we got the gold on him and certainly not on the other one over here. And if I had to guess, we were a little bit forward and a little bit low on this one. It wasn't quite where I wanted it, where we pulled the trigger. And yeah, that was exactly it. A little higher and a little further left, we'd have been fine. And then our follow-up, I mean, it was actually pretty good. A little lower, we'd have had it. But that's a tough shot to make. 370 meters, like on a dead run. Not an easy one to lead, but I think we're going to try this spot as our kind of last effort for uh, Springbuck and see if we can manage to get something good. And then went back to the Trophy Lodge for our Warthog. And that's a new zone, so I don't know that I've really gone over here. I thought I probably have. Oh my goodness. I was, look I was trying to spot this one. That is a five right there. I think it's a small five. I, I don't know why. I wasn't looking at the spotting thing. I didn't realize he was very big. That could be kind of interesting. We do have a big and small diamond springbuck already in the trophy lodge, so it wouldn't be anything new as far as variety. But yeah, that pretty much answers that question. I have not checked this spot because new zone and there's a level five there waiting for us. I don't think I want to risk like a head-on shot that far away. So I'll probably head around this side. Yeah, those are definitely small horns, but 130 meters broadside. That should be no issue for the Mosin. I do want to reload, though, just in case we can maybe get, like, a bonus one or two fleeing. I'm not getting my hopes up too high for this one, because a lot of these small fives are trolls, but there's definitely a chance, and actually, the one right in front of him would be a good one to go to on a follow-up, so let's see what we can do here. Let him lift his head just to be safe, because there's definitely a chance he could be a diamond. And then, okay, that guy took off quick, but that's the one I want to focus on, because he's a max weight four. They don't really slow to a trot very quickly. 
so I think we're just going to get two in him. We got him good enough to bring him down quickly, but there's not really much of a good opportunity for a next shot on like a fleeing springbuck for a good like 150 meters or so. So I didn't think it was worth trying to wait on that, but let's see what we got here. I do wish he had gone down like a little further up the hill because it would have been a pretty cool screenshot with the tripod like really in the background, but it's kind of just hidden through the brush there. It could almost look like it was shot out of the tripod though. But let's see if we're lucky with our trophy rating here. Oh, we are! 111.4 Diamond Springbuck. I legitimately just figured it would be a troll and I was going to be fine with that. That's really cool. I'm going to try to get better. You guys keep saying that it stresses you out that I like don't taxidermize straight away. So we'll start to do that and then take screenshots, but yeah. I mean, that is a huge bonus. Full disclosure, I was going to do multiplayer today. But uh, there were no uh, servers open like at a good time for it, so I decided to come to single player just to, you know, hunt Verhunga anyway, because we had the, the Warthog. And that worked out really, really well. Got a diamond of each of the things that I kind of really wanted to focus on, so could not ask for a better way for that to go. But what do we do here? Same spinal cord intestine hit and then a random flesh shot, so go figure. But yeah, we're going to head back to the trophy lodge anyway. Now we have two animals to throw up in there. So I thought it was finally time that we got rid of a couple of geese that we had up here. Because they've been up there a while and they were just kind of like rares that were just silver score kind of placeholders. But I think this is the third diamond of each species um, that we have in the new trophy lodge. There was a big horns and a small horns diamond spring buck before. And I had two of the bigger tusks diamond warthogs. So third of each and it's just good to get variety on these small plaques like anything that's not a duck or a goose is really good and like I said I'm at least hoping and pretty much expecting to get a good number of axis deer on these plaques like once the true racks for them come out so it's good to have something that's gonna be kind of not them as well so more of those filled and just slowly making progress on this new lodge there's a lot of stuff in here but still quite a lot of plaques to fill but anyway that is gonna do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time